In this Rhino Inside Revit example file, we are going to use Revit geometry of the floor slab and structure in Grasshopper to identify locations and placement of our attachment family, as well as the type of attachment, which results in a quasi-parametric relationship. Once we reference the Revit geometry into Grasshopper, we can create our data-driven workflows. In this case, we are attaching unistruts to a variety of elements above. After providing our initial spacing, we collision detect with our Revit geometry and remove any that miss entirely. At this point, we could use this data to find the areas that fail our minimum span requirements. Once we have the initial locations of our unistrut attachment, we can place our Revit family in Grasshopper, feeding the distance we received from the collision detection into the family parameter. We also know that if the type of collision is with steel or concrete and can update that attachment type parameter as well. Now that our family is placed and our quasi-parametric relationships established, you can see how changing the floor height in Revit changes our attachment length. or changing the spacing in Grasshopper revises the Revit document. Changing the beam size will cause a revision to our unistrut attachment as well. At this point, if we add a beam, it will generate the required attachments. Adding a unistrut will also cause a revision. Once we are satisfied with our definition, this can be applied to the entire project. Please see the Revit form link linked below for the example file that we just went over.